XDR is a holistic detection and response solution that goes beyond the endpoint to remove silos of visibilities. It leverages an advanced analytics like artificial intelligence and big data analytics as well as Trend Micro's extensive smart protection network to provide more detections and faster response. Unlike its predecessor, the Endpoint Detection and Response, XDR doesn't focus on endpoint detection alone. Instead, it enables security teams to detect, investigate, and respond to threats across multiple layers of security, including that of email, server, cloud workloads, and network layers. A component of XDR capable of integrating with the messaging security layer is Cloud App Security or TMCAS. This is the first of two videos in this series. For this guide, we'll be discussing how to connect Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR by first, having a provisioned Exchange Online account, second, creating an Exchange Online Protection Policy, third, enabling the Threat Investigation API and TMCAS, and finally, connecting Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR using the generated token. Cloud App Security is a solution that provides direct cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration for many cloud-based applications, including Office 365. With its support for Office 365 and Exchange Online, it can protect emails from phishing and advance malware through the use of a virtual sandbox, document exploit detection, and web reputation. Now, to be able to use Trend Micro XDR's search app for sweeping and checking email telemetry during threat investigation, Cloud App Security needs to be connected to Trend Micro XDR. The requirements for connecting Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR include First, having the right licenses. You'll need to have a license for both Trend Micro XDR and Cloud App Security, as well as an additional license for XDR add on Cloud App Security. All these three licenses must belong to a single CLP account. Without the XDR add-on license, the Trend Micro XDR console won't allow you to connect Cloud App Security for the detection and response service. Next, Exchange Online must be provisioned in TMCAS. If you haven't done so, you can add it by hovering over the name of the service and clicking on the provision link. You may check out the online help center for a guide on how to provision Microsoft Office 365 services. With an account provisioned, an Exchange Online Protection Policy must also be in place. This can be added by going to the Advanced Threat Protection section. Click on the pull-down menu next to the Add button and select Add Exchange Online Policy. On the ATP Policy window that comes up, toggle the switch to enable real-time scanning. Provide a name for the policy, select your targets, and click on the Save button. For the purpose of this guide, we simply provided a policy name, added all the available targets, and then accepted all the default filter settings. You may also refer to the Online Help Center for more information on configuring policies for Cloud App Security. Next, Automation and Integration APIs for Threat Investigation must be enabled in TMCAS. To do this, click on Administration on the main menu and select Automation and Integration APIs. Here you will be generating authentication tokens that are used for automated threat investigation, hunting, and remediation. Click on the pull-down menu next to the Add button, hover over for Trend Microservice slash Product and select Manage Detection and Response Service. On the Add Authentication Token window, provide a name of the token and click on the Create Token button. Some APIs require authorization to get the necessary permissions that provide Cloud App Security with sufficient service data. Click on the OK button to perform the authorization immediately. We've just verified that we have a provisioned Exchange Online in TMCAS. We've created an Exchange Online Protection Policy, and we've enabled the Threat Investigation API in TMCAS. Since we've met all requirements, we can now connect Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR. Switch to the Trend Micro XDR console. 
we'll be using the product connector to connect TMCAS. This can also be accessed through the main menu on the left by clicking on the gear icon and then product connector. This shows us all of the products connected with Trend Micro XDR. To connect another product, click on the connect button at the top. On the connect product window that appears, select Cloud App Security from the product name drop down menu and click on the save button. We've just finished connecting Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR, so it should appear on the list. The connection status indicator should show a green dot with a connected status. We are now done with the first part of the guide. In the next part, we will be testing the telemetry logs coming from our Cloud App Security in Trend Micro XDR. If you want to learn more about how other Trend Micro products integrate with Trend Micro XDR, there are other guides like this available for them as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative for you.